Hello and welcome back to the Pain of Crypto YouTube channel where today we have a very important video. In fact I'd even go as far as to say that this video could be my most important project review up to date. Our cash network is a project we must bring up now. And something tells me that a lot of you definitely may have heard about our cash before, but don't know much about it. Also note that I'm not necessarily coming at this from a bearish or bullish undertone, but that in general I do not want my viewers to get caught wrong sided by this project, which obviously after watching this entire video will not be the case. Make sure to subscribe as I'll continue pumping out these important project review videos, and let's get right into it. Okay straight off the bat Akash Network is an artificial intelligence crypto project. I know a lot of you have your eyes set on the AI narrative and as you should, it'll be one of the most bullish sectors. But as a lot of you are also likely aware is that there aren't really any truly solidified AI projects. You should know by now that crypto like Singularity Net and Fetch AI and Ocean Protocol the graph aren't really artificial intelligence. I guess you can say some of these are more so than others. But when we think AI and crypto, these have a loose link to say the least. But there are some other crypto projects out there that are still involved with artificial intelligence one way or another, and thus can be good proxy AI bets. Something like a render network for instance. Well as we'll soon see in detail a cash network is also one of these projects, and in my opinion is one of those that actually leans most toward being AI out of all the projects we currently have today. Before diving into Akash, I actually want to explain what motivated me to make this the topic of today's video. I was always going to make this sooner rather than later, but the exact reason is because Elio Trades, who I'm sure a lot of you must be aware of, one of the biggest crypto creators in the entire landscape and for great reason, but Elio said something in one of his recent videos, so let me play a clip of that right now. I personally will be preparing for the altcoins that are going to crush. Um, and, you know, there's a sector that's dominating the mainstream tech sector. And most of the projects that are related to that sector, and I'm speaking cryptically on purpose because I want you smart people to get ahead of this. Most of the smart, most of the projects in this space that are related to the number one hottest tech sector in the world are complete shams, complete phonies and have absolutely nothing going for them. I said most, not all. So obviously the so-called sector Elio was referring to there was artificial intelligence, with NVIDIA being the company dominating TradeFi. And we've already well established that most so-called AI crypto are not a real thing. But he says earlier in the clip how he's preparing for those altcoins that will crush, and how he keeps highlighting most AI crypto are phony, but not all. Long story short if you haven't figured it out by now, and I'm obviously going out on a massive limb I have no clue what I'm talking about. But I'll be honest, I think the AI crypto that he's referring to here is Akash Network. Now the point of this video isn't to decipher what Crypto Elio was talking about in the clip, but while watching the video for the first time and seeing that segment I instantly felt he was talking about Akash. The main reason I say this is because earlier in the video Elio talks about how the coin is one he's talked about many times before. Uh, some of you, if you're really good, you'll know that there's a coin that I have covered many times on this channel, many times, uh, going back years from now. Uh, and it's actually become one of my favorites uh, in the entire industry for this next cycle. I'll be doing a deeper dive into that, uh, that entire sector and why I like that project. Again, it could be any project, but he's had a relationship with Akash. He's been super involved with it in the past, like running a delegator and just having quite an affinity for it these past years. The other big reason I wanted to speak about Akash is not just because I think Elio is bullish on it, but that the project has completely turned themselves around over this bear market. From what almost certainly would have been a dying project, to some game-changing pivots in the right direction, where once not knowledge on what they're doing is established. It'd be ill-advised to ignore and fade them. You see Akash is prepping to be this AI super cloud so to speak. And don't just take that from me. It's something they've begun coining a lot recently citing this notion several times on their website saying AI super cloud. Now Akash has always went for this super cloud sort of identity, where the actual network is a cloud computing platform built on blockchain technology thus also giving it the decentralization aspect. So a lot like Render Network which we'll bring up several more times in this video, Akash wants to be an alternative to traditional cloud services such as Google Azure or Amazon Web Services, where all aspects of computing power like GPU CPU bandwidth storage can be lent out through the Akash marketplace where blockchain is used to be that middle ground for transactions and exchanges meaning it's completely open and transparent unlike centralized services. And again a lot like render the token AKT is used for all these transactions meaning the token gets excellent value accrual pretty much as good as can be. By now you should get that sense that wait a minute, 
Akash Network is exactly like Render, especially if you've watched my Render review and I highly recommend that you do because it'll really help nail in the points I'm about to make about Akash. But yes, Render and Akash Network are pretty much two projects trying to do the exact same thing. And with the artificial intelligence narrative and how big it's going to be going forward, I'm telling you right now with conviction that these two projects will be going through an absolute war against each other when that artificial intelligence bull market time arrives. And so this is why I was trying to emphasize the importance of this review video, and that right now we're still well ahead of this faded battle that will occur. In fact that may be a lie because it's somewhat already started with Greg Osuri sending direct shots at Render in this clip. Whereas Render is a closed source software that is hosted on mostly I believe Amazon's and Google servers that no one can just participate. It's not permissionless. So it's a closed source software, but for some reason, they tend to advertise themselves as a decentralized and open protocol. I mean, like that, I think I have some concerns with. And I call them out on it and they blocked me from their Telegram. And Render was doing rendering, but then they offered on their hosted platform, they offered Stable Diffusion. And so their community just celebrates Stable Diffusion and Render entering the AI era. But in reality, Render can run one model. Akash can run about 15,000 models on Hugging Face. Render is optimized for Stable Diffusion only, as far as I know now. We don't know the roadmap because they're not very open about it. I asked them. They don't want to share the roadmap, so we don't know much. There's a lot of things to break down in this clip, and especially the AI aspects of what Akash has over Render which we must dive into. But again Akash versus Render will be a fierce AI battle in the bull. For a while Akash was fairly quiet in terms of price action so I didn't know if that was going to be the case. But quite conveniently just a couple weeks ago Akash woke up and exploded 200%. Now it has corrected substantially but the point is they've finally arrived. Now note I said Akash shifted their entire dynamic only a little while ago, and that was by the announcement of integrating GPU-enabled AI capabilities into the platform in 2022. And now just in a couple days we expect for the Akash Mainnet 6 to go live for what they once again call the AI Super Cloud. You can go on their Twitter right now to see the countdown and how many blocks are left for the launch. This is obviously a big deal for Akash because if done successfully, they'll be able to commit to some pretty big feats they're claiming like the ability for decentralized networks to train models from scratch. They're looking to create their first model trained by the AI Super Cloud on Akash to show the world the ability for the network to do this. This isn't getting that much coverage in the mainstream crypto news, but to me it clearly seems that Akash is trying to show everyone that hey, you know that idea of crypto and artificial intelligence not really being a thing. Well, we're about to change all that very, very soon. If Akash pulled this off, it'll be a massive breakthrough in the GPU landscape from AI to gaming. Note that Akash also supports the NVIDIA H100 and A100 GPUs. So long story short, keep your eyes on Akash this next little while. Because if you've made it this far into the video, I'd say you're probably already ahead of 99% of people looking at the AI niche in crypto. So don't let that lead go. As far as Render versus Akash, I think given that we've made review videos on both. A versus video comparing the two in depth is all but certain so make sure to subscribe because you won't want to miss out on that. But a quick preview is that I look at the two similar to Solana versus Ethereum believe it or not. I think Akash would be the soul where I do think the tech of Akash is better than Render, as Greg Osuri pointed out with several points in that video. But Render is the bigger project the bigger business, it's achieved bigger network effects. So I don't see Akash necessarily flipping Render as of right now at least. But I do think given the back and forth these two projects will have they'll ultimately benefit each other by getting to some pretty insane valuations when that AI bull run does arrive. So yes, I own both Render and Akash and plan to buy even more. The trick in this space is not to choose sides. If you have an AI portfolio and aren't really considering these two then I don't know what to say. But obviously I am not a financial advisor so you do what you will. This has not been financial advice. If you want to buy or trade crypto then sign up to an exchange link in the description if you're looking for no KYC and bonuses. Like and subscribe for more. And I'll see you next time.